90% of people that start YouTube do not get monetized on YouTube. They are unsuccessful. Today is my birthday. I am 36 years old. What would cause someone like me to start a YouTube channel and try to get monetized when only one in any 10 people actually become successful on YouTube? Well, today, instead of giving you my walk and talk and tell you about my studies of what I've been doing over the past week, today I'm going to give you my background on why, who I am and why I started this whole thing. So my name's Max, I'm 36 years old today. I was born and raised on a council estate with two sisters and two parents raised me my whole life. I'm very fortunate. I'm extremely fortunate to grow up with a, such a supported family. A few years ago, after COVID hit, I started to look into personal finance. Instantly, I found a passion for personal finance and strategies. I, I saw it as like a strategy game. Like if you're playing games on a computer and you've got the strategy games, which a lot of people like. And to me, I felt the same way about personal finance. So it sparked something inside of me. I love personal finance. I love talking about personal finance. There's an extremely strange phenomenon that happens when I talk about personal finance. To me, time goes fast. I can talk about it forever. I go in my flow state. But I have this weird phenomenon as I make everyone else's time go slow. <laughs> like it's weird. I'm fast forwarding and they're on rewind or on pause. And I can't wait for this to be over this conversation. So one of the reasons why I started YouTube and personal finance is because personal finance is quite a lonely place. So the reason why I started this YouTube channel is because I know a lot of people like me are lonely when they talk about personal finance. When you see it, when you see the hidden secrets that big corporations and governments have been hiding from people like me and my friends and family and the working class, you see, you see behind the veil, you see what they're all about. And you actually start to say, you actually get a bit annoyed and think, why don't we know about this? And you want to scream and shout and tell everyone. But the problem is when you want to scream and shout and tell everyone, a lot of people don't want to listen. So instead of screaming and shouting and telling everyone and shaking them and getting angry with them, I'm not going to do that. I don't get angry with people anymore. At first I did. At first I was like, why can't you see what I can see? This is super important. At first I started to become a little bit angry. But then I realized someone I work with actually said something that really resonated with me and said, people will only hear things that they are ready to hear. So if they're not ready yet, that is absolutely fine. And I accept that now. So I created this channel because I want to create this channel for people that are ready to listen, that are ready to see behind the veil, that are ready to see all the secrets that big corporations and governments are hiding from you on a financial level, especially people from the working class background. When you are in a working class background, do you not feel that there are some things that some people in different classes, the upper class, the rich, the, the wealthy, that they have access to things that you do not have access to? That is what's keeping you down. The truth is you all have access to the same things. You are just not educated to be told what you have access to, where the rich and the wealthy are. They are told you have access to these products. This is how you make money. And they are not marketed to and pressured like the working class. The working class to the rich and famous are seen as cattle. So when I first started to see these products and things that are available to the rich, the famous, the upper class, the wealthy, the government, to the big corporations, when I started to see these things, I wanted to shout from the rooftops and tell everybody. But I couldn't because no one was ready to listen. And that was fine. That was a lesson that I needed to learn, that people are not always ready to hear what you have to say. So I've created this channel to be a place for people that are ready, that don't have someone that they can talk to about this, that they can come to this channel, they can subscribe and join the community and come to this channel and talk about personal finance, the strategies, building wealth, becoming financially free and independent. Now you have a place where you can actually talk to people because like I mentioned, a lot of couples, a lot of relationships have one person that's good at finance and another person that is not good at finance and doesn't want to know anything about it. So the one person that is good at finance is alone when they're in that conversation and talking about it. So that's my reason number one for starting this channel is to create a place for people so they're not lonely when they're talking about personal finance. Reason number two is because I, I would love to be my own boss. 
I get monetized, that would be amazing. I'd be super, super happy if I became monetized and was able to become my own boss on YouTube. That's a pretty simple one. I'm sure a lot of people can resonate with that. And it doesn't really need much more clarification than I'd, I'd like to be my own boss. That would be really nice. The, another reason why I wanted to start YouTube is because as a personalized financial planner, certified financial planner, as a profession, it is our job to target rich and wealthy people. They have the most amount of wealth. They are the richest. They will pay the fees that a financial advisor will charge and they get the services that are provided. It's obvious from day one, that as a personalized financial advisor, we are not going to offer our services to people that are not rich and wealthy, that do not have a lot of assets under management. Again, this is a problem for me from the very first day, from day one, I saw this. I knew I was realistic enough to know that people like the working class, like myself growing up and my parents, will not get these services that are offered to them. So I also want to create this channel because I want to give the working class people that do not have access to the products and services of a certified financial planner, I want to give them access to that for free on this channel. I want to give you that financial advice. These are the reasons I'm creating this channel. It's because it's an unfair world and I do feel for the working class. That's how I have grown up and I've always been working class and I'll never be not working class. You cannot take the working class out of me. That's how I was born and raised and that's just who I am. So these are just a couple of reasons why I'm starting a YouTube channel. I think they are honorable reasons. I think they are good reasons. I think I'm bringing value to people that don't have access to this type of information. I think I'm providing a place that allows people not to be lonely when they talk about personal finance. I'm also hoping I'm creating a place for people that are struggling and stressed in life and do not know how to handle finance and just cannot wrap their head around it and it creates stresses and anxiety for people. And that stress and anxiety burst out in other ways. We, I don't know how or why, but you may get stressed. You may take that stress out on other people. You may take that stress out on yourself. But if I can take one aspect of the stress and anxiety in your life away from you through this YouTube channel, then that to me is a huge success. My reasons for why I want to start a YouTube channel is a bit selfish. On one side, I want to make money. I want to be my own boss, but also I want to bring value to you, the viewers, the subscribers. I want to bring value to you. I want you to live a rich and successful and fulfilling life. I don't want you to be lonely when you're talking about personal finance. I want you to have a comfortable life. I want you to have an easy life. I want you to have access to the products and services that only the rich and elite have. So I'm here to try and bring that to you. So if that's the type of thing that you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button. I know it's such an easy thing for you to do to just ignore what I've just said here, but imagine the influence that you could have on my life by pressing that button. Just a simple touch of that button could transform my life forever. So it has that type of influence. And seriously, when I get a new subscriber, honestly, I'm walking around like this. Just one subscriber, I'm walking around like an absolute baller. If you want to give me a 36 year old birthday present, please hit that subscribe button. You are actually changing and transforming my life forever with such a small action. Today, this is the update to the YouTube analytics on my progress on YouTube. We will go back to the home office and have a look at the data analytics over the last week. So let's head home back to the home office. Back home now in the home office, it's time to look at the YouTube analytics. Apologies about my voice. Last night on my birthday, I was singing a lot of karaoke, dreadful singing, a lot of drinks. So my voice has taken a little bit of a lashing last night, but now let's have a look at those analytics. So this week in the last seven days, we have gained two new subscribers. We have gone from 118 subscribers to 120 subscribers on the channel. Going forward in these analytics, I'm going to update the subscribers in this way over the last week. I want to show my progress on how many subscribers I've had over the past seven days since the previous update. However, when I talk about the watch hours, I'm then going to review the watch hours over the last 365 days. I'm doing this because the analytics you need to be monetized on YouTube is the amount of watch hours over the last 365 days. 
So that's why I'm doing it this way. You need to reach 4,000 watch hours in the last 365 days to become monetized as well as 1,000 subscribers. So right now we are at 120 subscribers, which is not time sensitive. I could gain those subscribers years ago. It doesn't really matter when I actually got those subscribers, but it does matter when I got those watch hours. So this is why I'm going to update the subscribers on a seven day review and update the watch hours on a 365 day review. So we've had two new subscribers this week and over the last 365 days, we are at 94.6 watch hours. Once we pass 100, that is great. We're now in triple figures. We need to be in quadruple figures and then we can start talking about that 4,000 watch hours. We'll be getting pretty close once we get into four figures. That's the data analytics for this week. This week, I did give you an update to tell you my background and why I'm starting a YouTube channel. Next week, I will talk to you again about the things that I've studied and the things that I've learned over the past two weeks. I've learned a lot. So hit the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can find out how I have improved creating my videos and creating my content on YouTube. This is week five update on the data analytics. If you want to see week on week updates on my road to monetization on YouTube, then click on this playlist right here and watch from the very beginning and binge week on week.